like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! I am rude! Harsh? Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? Yeah. What are you working on, Rocket? Uh, just a little upgrade for the Milano's weapon systems. I told you I'd put that quarantine zone tech to good use if you hit it from Nova Corps. Cool. How soon can we try it out? Uh, depends on how long you're gonna stand there bothering me. You want something? Could What'll it be this stuff? time? Confetti jet boots? Why do you tease me with crafting, Quill? Fine, fine, I'll make you dumb stuff. Just tell me what you want. I could really use a flark and drink right now. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. One day, we'll find the right language package. According to this, the Collector reported Groot stolen 14 years ago. <coughs> Can we help you? Oh! Hey! Rocket! Groot! Sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys. Groot, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. What happened to your homeworld? I am Groot. You never told me that. I am Groot. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a, an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. I am... <coughs> Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am... Groot. Far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last... human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece. A splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am... He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs>
I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I... have cooked. A drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Piven scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am cooked. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I... am cooked. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a DAS cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it... still... active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. I know we don't talk a lot, group, for... you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> But I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am... He says he knows, and he's grateful. I think I've seen this before. Did group pick it up in nowhere? Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? Wonder where group picked up that one. So, uh, Drex, you feeling sucky because Quill took my side? He explicitly did not. As far as I know, we ain't turning this ship around and heading back to the Macri Arch. I'll take that as a win. It is matriarch. I know! I was making a pun! Cause she's a blue blood? Well, at least on her mom's side. Hey, dude. How are you feeling? Busy. It's okay. It's just the two of us in here. We all saw a pretty messed up scut in that promise thing. I'm fine, Quill. There ain't nothing some Cree kid can promise that won't make my skin crawl. Okay. But what did you see? Was it Lila? Doesn't matter. I knew it was fake soon as she got into my head. I saw you looking at those emergency door control stupid llama things. You better not try eating them. I hope that was llama speak for I will not chew up your shit. And that better have been an acknowledgement. Watch it, Peter. You could fall on my sword if you're not careful. Hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, oh. who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. The warrior. Well, I am the warrior. the warrior, and heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there, with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move?
tell me that flarking thing? Oh, flarking holla. Oh, okay, it's over there. But no eating spanner! What do you think, bud? Now the contraxi is gone, what's gonna be the new hotspot for entertainment? I am Groot! An asteroid, huh? huh. Mark! Alright, ambience! Is that our running away from the church song? Shoo, shoo, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't shooing through any more of my ship! My ship! <laughs> shoo, flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. <laughs> Can't wait for Starfans to see what I do to the weapon. It's gonna be great, right, Musclehead? Whatever. I really hope this isn't a bomb. Seriously? <laughs> You're so gullible, Quill. It ain't gonna blow. I mean, its core is definitely volatile as scut, and could melt a hole through the floor if an idiot decided to take it apart. But it's practically harmless. Just need some extra repulsion coils to manage the flaw in the photonic phase capacitor. But will it damage the ship? Eh, probably not. You really go bananas for this stuff, don't you? What the flark is a banana? It's this yellow fruit on Earth that looks like a... Never mind. The point is, you're clearly obsessed with this stuff. Hey, I ain't obsessed. Tech just makes sense, okay? There's order to it. Makes me feel calm. That and it doesn't rip you off like some filthy biologicals I've known. <laughs> you got grifted. Laugh it up, Star Pants. <clears throat> I mean, that's terrible. Who was it? A chick. <clears throat> really? I didn't even know you liked girls. She wasn't just any girl. She was a chick. One of them Voldai. Bird people. Mm-hmm. She, uh, she sounds super special. Her name was Tella. And she wasn't just special. She made me feel special. Like I wasn't some freak show science experiment. She bought me a drink. She didn't even flinch at my implants. I just escaped Half-World and I fell for her. Hard. We've all been there, buddy. Half the girls I've dated have tried to kill me. You should see the scars. Except I didn't know no better. I thought Tella was my friend. And then one day, she convinces me to hack a ship for her. You know, kid stuff. Wasn't even nothing in it for me, I just wanted to impress her. <laughs> yep, definitely been there. Reminds me of this one time with Vralnexian. We, uh... You mind? Anyways, I hacked the ship all right. I hacked it to scut. The next thing I know, I'm surrounded by a bunch of Badoon thugs. Turns out they own the ship. While they focused on me, she took off in the ship that I hacked for her. She left me there, Quill. Like I was trash. <sighs> That's the day I learned to think twice before trusting biologicals. They're not all like Groot. How are you not obsessed with tech? Look at this place. Your room is... Wow, I mean... Wow. What's wrong with my room? You don't even have a bed. I got a bed. 
It's buried under junk. I prefer to call it a soft shelf. I just don't know how any of this could make you feel calm. I feel stressed just looking at it, and that's coming from me. If Groot didn't do the laundry, I'd probably never have clean clothes. Like I said, tech makes sense. Why do you care so much? I don't know. Because you're such a perfectionist. I ain't a perfectionist. The lead scientist on Half-World, Rakmar. He... Oh, he was a perfectionist. A horrible freebag and scutbrand and flark flark and son of a chog! What did he do to you? Oh, what any self disrespecting scientist does. Started a super soldier program! Except instead of using one of their precious blue skins, they decided to experiment on us. Animals. Lesser life forms. But it wasn't enough that he ripped us apart and jammed us full of cybernetic implants. Oh no. He'd make us perform tasks over and over and over. Lab rats. And if we flarked up, if it wasn't exactly right, or up to his flarkin standards, <laughs> he'd shock us into unconsciousness. Holy crap. Rocket, I... It is what it is, Quill. Groot says fixing stuff is my way to make the memory of that stressed feeling go away. Make me feel in control again when I get overwhelmed. I don't know. He's probably right. Groot really is the first one to treat you right, isn't he? He's my family. You're lucky to have found each other. Especially after... Everything. And then some. I hope you'll see us as family one day, too. Galactic War Commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corel was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. You want to practice on me, answering her questions? Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago, and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. I can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid, Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he... disagreed. So, I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. Look, after the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers, and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki. And she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, 
It was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corel I remember. I tried to convince Yanyu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying, so I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. <sighs> anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Net. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. I just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Did you mute me? <laughs> So, how much is Lady H offering you anyway? Is it like, a lot? Or are you making a counter offer? Maybe. Depends. 
What would it take? Nothing. Everyone's got a price, Glory. Even you. I don't expect those of lower races to understand the basic principles of honor and superiority. When I commit to a contract, I follow through. Always. Yeah, okay. So how much for your honor, then? I cannot be bought. Certainly not by low-life scum such as yourselves. I am Glavri of the Kree Empire, and I look forward to the day when the Kree race eliminates your inferior species. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give it your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. Your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Impossible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us.
Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Jeez, how much money did she offer these guys? Too much, because they ain't gonna survive this. I am Groot. Hang in there, bud. They ain't killed us yet. Ships ain't dying fast enough. There's an art to this rocket. We're artists. Where are you going, Quill? You're making us an easy target. Turn around or we're dead. Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounties are five as you. Never heard of him. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters. But my cruiser will crush you. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's... I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked! Then do something about it. Lady Skullsuit has the worst fucking timing! Is she here? Just her goons! This time! That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. You're mad, Guardians. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Moron. Protect our points. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them anyway. Really need to work on our PR. You okay in there, Cap? Stay still and I'll show you. about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I Groot. Hard to leave. Power supplies are low. Need access to facilities. Swear not to lift them. Won't get this done. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. To Novacore headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Hi, Groot. 
I know, bud. But now we can all follow along with Starpan's mistakes. How may we assist you? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Just pick the Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star-Lord. mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, uh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Oh, please see you. celestial body. Or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Finally, in a few words, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. I know. Let's join the Corps and rob them. Scroll down. Scroll down. Centurion Corel personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. I know. Let's join the core and rob him. Scroll back up. I think I saw someone interesting. Nova number 11249-44396 is out of our sensor range and unavailable for contact. Richard Ryder. Sounds Terran. You seriously don't know who he is? I have yet to meet a Terran of any interest. Does that say Nova Prime? Corbin Day is missing in action and, and unable to respond. Heard of him. He was in the Resistance. So much for near perfect algorithms, Helpline. Hey, Walberry, got any ideas? We should report what Raker is up to. Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the... I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. Cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise. Is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda, Andromeda galaxy, galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually. The world mind is collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Corps helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. 
What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. Given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause! But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We do not experience emotion, therefore we cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation of- Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. We recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional state is not our primary concern. We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Uh, yeah. Let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, come on, really? I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknar from back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, alright? Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off.
accepting the promise. We got it, Chomp Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Hi, Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. Nice. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the and water. And if they right. find us, we're screwed. screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. Then what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. If you're about to throw another tantrum, do it quietly this time. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. that stuff you're drinking. I am Groot. Looks like herbal tea, but, uh, not sure about the smell. <laughs> I am Groot. What kind of tea is that? I am Groot. Ah, good one! Uh, uh, maybe you can show me? I am Groot. Oh, God. Really? I cannot tell if that's cannibalism. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll pass on the leaf juice, but I'm glad to see you've got everything under control. At least one of us does. Speak for yourself! <sighs> Hey, how's it looking? How does it look like it's looking? Well, I... Tension circuit melted through the stem bolts, reverse ratcheting routing planers out of alignment, can't even see the Flarkin sensor node behind the flux capacitor. Wait, flux capacitors are real? What? No, I mean flow capacitor. Words get a little messed up when I'm tired. Uh, 
Uh, rocket? What is it? I'm busy. I was gonna say, if you want to take a break after this, I don't think anyone will hold it against you. They better not! Hey, Groot! You remember if I left the sensor nodes on standby? More up! You all right in there? Look, we're all frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening! It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world mind aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. The heck? Oh, whoa. That smells great. this? How are you... me? Come on, the talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad uh, guys? It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, hello. Rocket, do we have time for some upgrades? No, we don't. We can fix up your scut later. So you flew us all the way here? Yep. Without asking. Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, 
I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Uh... And then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes. Good enough for me. Seriously, Rocket, you don't feel weird coming back here after... Focus on what's happening now, Quill. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. Let's be careful. There, let's go. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! Peter Quill. 